With grey and gloomy skies covering most of Stanley yesterday morning, a hive of activity was taking place behind closed doors, as the nation's mobile polling teams were receiving their final briefings. Not to be confused with the use of an electronic device to cast a vote, a Falklands mobile polling team operates by travelling to voters. Well, the purpose of mobile polling is to make sure that everybody who wants to vote in the general election has an opportunity to do so. And obviously it's very difficult for people running busy farms to come into Stanley to vote, so we bring the ballot box to them. In the 2017 general election, 546 votes were cast for the camp constituency, with mobile polling helping to capture a large proportion. The system requires four polling teams to ensure that all voters in camp are reached, three assigned to a different area of East Falkland, with one team covering the West. The process is exactly the same as if you were voting in Stanley. Uh, the ballot box, however, comes to you with a mobile polling team. You complete your paper as you would do uh, at the static polling booth in Stanley or in Goose Green. Into the box it goes uh, and then off we go to the next stop. We try to make it as convenient as we can for people so that they know roughly the time we're going to be at each of the various locations that we're stopping at uh, so that they can come and meet us and then they can get on with their day. We were granted access to follow Mobile Polling Team 3 as they left Stanley at 8am with a route that included six separate stops throughout the south of East Falkland. First off was the turn off to Bluff Cove. No voters here, potentially deciding against braving the gale force winds on the MPA road. However, there was more activity at the next stop, the Fitzroy Turnoff. First votes of the day placed in the team's ballot box and a first for Emma, who had never been part of a mobile polling team before. I've never really thought about it until I've been involved here and um, the Registrar General was looking for people to be involved and it, it sounded like a, a great opportunity um, to do something different and to support the election. It's uh, really interesting, it's really good to get out um, around the different settlements, get involved and just see how the process works. Beats uh, the, the leisure centre at Gateshead. When arriving at each stop, Emma and Stuart must make sure that the correct person is voting and that they've been given the correct ballot paper, which must then be sealed and put into the ballot box. Moving on to Fitzroy, the day's first settlement, voter numbers increased again as expected. And there can't be many elections in the world where you can hop straight back on your quad bike after carrying out your democratic duty. But what happens to camp votes once the mobile teams have completed their routes? Uh, well, our ballot box is then returned to Stanley uh, it's sealed, it's stored in a safe place overnight uh, and then once the static polling uh, is completed in Stanley tomorrow, uh, the box that we've collected along with all the other boxes from the mobile uh, polling teams uh, are all joined together in the town hall uh, where they're opened all at once ready for the count. Well, mobile polling team three are back on the move after collecting a handful of votes in Fitzroy. Not many countries have two polling days, but it's been really interesting to see how a moving ballot box works and how it makes the whole election process accessible to as many people in the country as possible. A real life example of democracy in action and democracy on the move.